Hey guys, it's like 25 and Archer 234 with episode 113 of Ranger Review. Today we have the Power Rangers Super Samurai, the Barracuda Kudobli, aka the Sakemaru from Samurai Sentai Shinkinger. So now we have Antonio's weapon, the Barracuda Blade. It's more like a sushi knife and it actually looks like a fish if you actually look at it from a long side of the view. Now the content side you get of course is the disc and you get the holder. Now it's actually a hollow holder, nothing else inside and you only can go one way with it. So in order for you to lock it, you have a little symbol right here push it in and it locks. That's the only way you can put it. You cannot actually put it this way because it only goes one way. It also has the built-in clip on the back. Instead of like the Samurizer and the and the uh, spin sword, this one actually mold it in. Because originally, if you guys remember, the other weapons, they just had a little clip that you can just clip it on and then put it on your belt. Yeah. Now this time it's automatically molded onto it, so you can't lose it now. It includes a disc. What you do is just, you pop it onto the top. It only can go on the top, it cannot go on the back, so don't try it guys and it spins. Now the disc can be either put up or down, but the correct way in the show, the disc has to face down. Now the gimmick for the back cooler blade is, so you press the button, and the it lights, blade lights up. up. That kind of reminds me of the uh, titanium laser. It does a similar thing, I think with a similar color tip. It has one, two, three, two, two to three LED lights right on the blade. The blade is a nice little see-through yellow, so you can actually see through, it's really nice. And it's just plastic. Funny thing is that when you put it in, when you put it into the blade, you actually, you actually can see light from the from the from the end because it sticks out, it a, sticks little out a little instead of having it as a whole hollow thing. You can still spin the the disc while it's here because the this is not locked at all. Although there's really no point because on the spin sword it had the reflecting mirror, so you can see the animation on the disc. But for the barracuda blade, it doesn't make any sense why they added that. It's actually almost show show size to the real thing because. If you guys remember, when the when the Rangers have the sword or the Barracuda blade on their arm, side arms on the back, it's actually smaller. But yet, when they take when they hold it on the show, it's actually more bigger. So there's actually almost size accurate to it. All right, so now we have the Saken Maru. It's pretty much a nice little thing. It ha I like the color of the dark. You know, it has a color scheme of the dark blue. And when you pop and when you release it from the sides, press the two buttons, the blade comes out. The blade is also a nice little gold metallic finish to it. It's really nice. It actually does reminiscence because of uh, Shinken Gold. His whole color scheme is mostly blue and gold. And the dark blue. So and it has a dark, really nice dark blue to it. Now, the Sally, the sushi disc does not come with the with the sake maru. You have to buy the sushi changer in order to get the disc because this is also the henshin device that he uses with the phone. So to turn on the sounds, you just go to the back and here's the on and off switch. Now the sword actually has a built-in accelerometer so that whenever you move the sword, it'll make it sound. Unfortunately though, it's kind of annoying because it'll continue to do that whenever you move. All right, so now when you close, when you put the side camera in and you close it, it activates the uh, Shinken Gold finishing move. Remember in the first time we saw Shinken Gold, he did that 100 swipe move and then he did it, when he closed it, it finished everyone off. So when, just like before, the disc just goes front way up. Now, when you have the when you have the Barracuda blade closed, it's in its powered up mode. When you open it, it'll release it. Now, also when you have the sushi disc on, it changes the attack pattern. It's sort of more of a powered up state, and when and as you do it more than like around 20, ten times, Daigoya will actually speak and say his phrases that were on the sushi disc. So also now the Sakamu has the clip on. Now what you do is that you just slide it in, you just clip onto your belt, and you're done. It functions the exact same way as I show it. It can be attached either on the side, the back, primarily, or any way which way you want. The clip is big enough to be fit in the position. <laughs> Thank you.
Alright, so now alteration wise, of course, the first thing you notice is the disc. The disc is actually smaller than the original sushi disc. Now also, the color of the disc is also changed too. This is a, ours is more like a solid red, while the sushi disc is actually more like a crimson color. crimsonish color. And since we never had the sushi changer, we lost the feature of this folding. So you cannot actually fold this. It actually is like the other disc that you have gotten in the past with the spin sword and whatnot. So it's actually the same size. You can actually use a spin sword with it. It doesn't really matter. The holder is different. The shoot, the barracuda blades are automatically molded into it, while the Sakama Ru is actually not. Also, if you guys notice, the color is a bit different than the Sakama Ru. The ours has a more of a darkish blue, and we have a more tealish down all the way to the down all the way to the end of the blade. While the Sakama Ru is actually not. It actually has the has a lighter blue to match the color of the Gold Ranger and. It is not hollow. Ours is actually hollow. Theirs is actually not. Also, we lost the whole the clip on the whole clip for where you loosen it. Ours, we just have to press the button and take it out. The Japanese one, you just put it on the side and it pulls out. Another change is when you put the disc in, ours actually spins. The Japanese one, it, it doesn't. doesn't spin. There's really no reason. Now for the blade, we obviously changed the color to a see-through gold. While the original Japanese one, it's still rubber, but it's actually just simply solid gray. Oh. And they also uh, didn't paint in the original emblem. The emblem here is actually a button now. Man, even then, it's not even painted on both sides at all. Um, also, the color for the blade, the gold on the blade, is actually different. The Japanese one has a more metallic and more metal more feeling. Rock feeling. Yeah. And the American one is just a soft feeling and it's just plain gold. It mainly much nothing else. The blade also doesn't stick out compared to the Japanese one because you can see we still have the blade here, and of course we can still see the lights. Biggest change of everything was the lights and sounds. The Japanese one never had a no. light on the blade. It was just a light on the, on the top. Eye. You can see the, the eye. eye. The eye still here, but it's actually not. It's just painted on. The Japanese one has sounds, which is really odd because there was no reason to remove them because they were just simply uh, blade sound effects. Other minor details changed. The speaker holes were removed. The tail fin doesn't have its gray paint. The fish eye comes out. Also, it's missing its yellow paint, and the sides are missing the line detailing. Sad part about ours is that there's also no on and off switch on the blade. So since it runs in button batteries, it's constantly draining. It's gonna drain even when you don't use it. You can close it and it's still gonna be draining batteries. The Japanese one, there's an on and off switch, which is really nice. And it uses AAA batteries. Just like in most of the Sentai or toys back in the days, they always use triple batteries. So also on the back, we we actually didn't paint the back at all, which is kind of odd. <laughs> Overall, the Barracuda Blade is actually a nice thing. I mean, I'm not saying it's bad, but but the fact is that we actually have a light and sound that Japan never got, which is interesting to see. And it's the closest thing to being show actors possible. And the size is actually pretty good. It's not too small, it's not too big, it's decent enough to fit you. So it's, I really recommend you guys try to get the Barracuda Blade. If you can't, and if you don't like the changes, then by far try to get the Sakamaru. But like I said, with Banda Asia having just Shinken Chanel, it's better if you try to find it now than find it later because it'll be more expensive. But if you can afford it, go for that. If you can't, just go for the Barracuda Blade. But yeah, that's a far view of the Samurai Barracuda Blade. Join us next week for the Power Ranger Samurai, the Scorpion Zord. We can't subscribe and we'll see you next week. So now we have finally Antonio's weapon, the Barracuda Blade. Of course, it's more like a shoes Yeah. Now the sword has its own built-in accelerometer. Now the sword actually has its own built-in accelerometer. Why can't I say accelerometer? Jesus.